Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here. Doing another little commentary type of video. Uh, just kind of, it shortens the video just a hair because, you know, normally I'll have an opening and a closing, but I can do those kind of things here in the uh, process of watching the video for you. And uh, so anyway, yeah, today we're going to be doing legs and we're going to be doing chest. And uh, you're noticing here on my squats, no, I don't go super deep. Can't do it. I'm not good at them. Never have been. Never will be. However, on the Smith machine, I can do them quite well. I can go ATG, as some people like to put it. Uh, and I do quite well with those. But free weight, I just can't do it. Uh, sometimes I can get uh, parallel. And uh, that's about as good as I can get it. So, yeah, we're going to do some squats today. We're not going to go up too awful heavy, but we are going to go up pretty good. And I'm uh, pretty happy with what I did, uh, all things considered. Um, of course, you know what's going on kind of in my personal life. If you keep up with my videos, you kind of know what's going on, you know, kind of surrounding my son. And uh, so, uh, really, I'm not in it, and I can tell uh, that a lot of the the problems I'm having here lately with my workout are probably revolving around that issue. It just kind of zapped my my strength and my my go get them kind of attitude and my spirit and just kind of it's kind of got me beat down a little bit, guys. Uh, hence the name of the channel. Well, I don't know if that's what it means, but anyway. So you know my lifts are not going to be as great as. They were for a while, probably, but uh, we'll see. Uh, today, I don't do too bad. I make myself fairly happy, and uh, my squats do pretty good. I do all right. feel pretty comfortable doing them. And, uh, anyway, so as I was thinking today uh, about all kind of things, things are running through the old brain, thinking that, uh, you know, we only live one time, as far as we know. We only have one time. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of us put our, our passions, our dreams, our hopes, our hobbies, and such things uh, kind of to the side uh, for life. And just maybe out of laziness, or maybe we're scared to even try in the first place because we're scared we'll fail, or we're scared people, you know, we're scared people might laugh at us and look at us and, and all that kind of stuff. But... I really feel like, you know, we should all be living our lives in a way that, you know, makes us happy and uh, we follow those dreams and passions and those hobbies and just all that stuff and, and just enjoy life while we're here because, you know, as we all know, uh, this could be the very last day we're here, the last moment. We have no idea. And, uh, you know, as you get older, you start thinking even more and more about these things and then when you see family members passing and you know and, and then you know your sibling or your your children I should say your children uh, you know are suffering from illnesses and different things and you know you, you kind of see that life life is uh, really delicate and uh, I think we forget that. I think sometimes we just we're so consumed with our lives and everyday things that we just kind of forget stuff, and we don't really think about how important you know all this is and and our journey while we're here. You know, it's not just about going to work, waking up and going home and sleeping and going back to work. It's not really about all that. That's just kind of something we have to do, uh, unless you're one of the one percent special people out there, which I am not. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you're not living your dream, if you're not doing things that you enjoy, if you're not, you know, following those passions and hobbies and, and loves and things that you really love to do, I suggest you do them, and, uh, that's what I'm trying to do, and it really started back in 2016 whenever I started cycling, it's something I'd wanted to do for many, many years at the time. So I finally got a bike and started cycling, and I got a lot of miles under my belt. And then, you know, 
getting back to working out. Uh, it's something that I missed, and it was, you know, I, I knew every day it was missing from my life, and, and it, you know, I was just, I wasn't happy because I sold all my stuff that I had, and, you know, we, we moved, and I sold everything, and so uh, getting back to working out is important for me. That don't mean that I have to lift heavy and do stupid things in order to have that happiness. I just need to have that stimulation, that that physical stimulation that we get from working out. It, uh, it just releases all sorts of hormones and other kind of moans and groans. I, I don't know, but it, it does something. There's a lot of chemical stuff going on there whenever we work out and push ourselves. And uh, also getting, uh, finally getting my first drum set and playing it and beating on it and just enjoying it and, you know, uh, I realize that I'm getting older and I want to do these things and enjoy what time I have. So, yeah, that's just my recommendation to everybody. Enjoy your life and do the things you have passion for. Healthy things, good things. Don't be doing cruddy, nasty, gross things. Don't do that. You stay away from all that. So, anyway, we're doing some bench pressing. We're working our way up here. We got 225 right now. Uh, my shoulder doesn't feel horrible today. I mean, there's still some pain in there. And, of course, it goes down into my tricep and basically all the way into my wrist. It just kind of affects that whole right arm. But today it felt pretty decent. Uh, I think my issue was just the fact that, you know, I don't have the energy and the drive and that passion and, you know, that uh, go-get-em attitude that I've had this whole time. And so it kind of affected me a little bit on my bench. And, uh, you know, also not eating as much as I should and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, we're getting it done. You know, we got 315 here. And I'm not going to get my best reps with any of these things, but we're still going to push ourselves and uh, get a good workout. You can see, getting a pretty good little stress there. And I was going to stop at four, but I said, no, I'm going for five. Let's go for it. So, and I went ahead and was crazy, and I went up to 365 here. And uh, at this point, right there, boom. I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> I don't usually get to that point, you know, I, I don't usually stick like that, but I said there is no way I'm failing with that weight on me and letting it come down on me. I'm not doing it, and somehow I just, I got it up there. Yes, I know, I need safeties. I don't need everybody in the world telling me, my God, man, you need safeties. I know, I know. Or a spot or something. So guys, working our way back down, we got 225. Uh, Pretty good little workout, as you can see. Nothing spectacular. I didn't break any records as far as heavy weights and as far as reps, but you know, we got in there, we got it done. And I'm sorry my belly shows, but that's just the nature of the game. It's sexy. I got an ab in there somewhere. Guys, have a great day, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. You got a little something out of it. Uh, and if you did, I don't know. Go ahead and get up, get out, get red. Like, share, it, subscribe. It, and we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Which will see likely be later. tomorrow. We'll see you then. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!